Hello, I am Antichrist. I am here to tell you reasons why Jesus Christ is no good for you. This is one of many videos that I am going to cover in a number of jogging videos. Explaining why Jesus Christ is no good for you. In today's video, I will only focus on the fact that Jesus Christ approves of slavery. Here are the direct quotes from Jesus Christ himself approving slavery. Matthew 24 colon 45 46 Who then is the faithful and wise slave, whom his master has put in charge of his household, to give the other slaves their allowance of food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Here is another verse, Luke 12 47 48 the slave who knows the master as will and does not get ready or does not do what the master wants will be beaten with many blows, but the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Matthew 10:24. A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. Now to reinforce Jesus with some New Testament slavery passages, Ephesians 6 colon 5 NLB, Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear, and with sincerity of heart, just. As you would obey Christ, obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly, as if you are serving the Lord, not people, because you know that the Lord will reward each one for whatever good they do whether they are slave or free. 1 Timothy 6, 1 and 2, all who are under the yoke of slavery should consider their masters worthy of full respect, so that God's name and our teaching may not be slandered. Those who have believing masters should not show them disrespect just because they are fellow believers. Instead, they should serve them even better because their masters are dear to them as fellow believers and are devoted to the welfare of their slaves. 1 Peter 2:18 Slaves, in reverent fear of God submit yourselves to your masters, not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. For it is commendable if someone bears up under the pain of unjust suffering because they are conscious of God. But how is it to your credit if you receive a beating for doing wrong and endure it? But if you suffer for doing good and you endure it, this is commendable before God to this. You were called, because Christ suffered for you leaving you an example, that you should follow in his steps. Titus 2, 9-10 Teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything, to try to please them, not to talk back to them, and not to steal from them, but to show that they can be fully trusted, so that in every way they will make the teaching about God our Savior attractive. Christians, if Jesus Christ and Yahweh Jehovah really love you, why did they just say to obey your earthly masters? Why does Yahweh allow you to suffer under a harsh master that abuses you? Why do you tolerate this kind of abuse? If Jesus Christ did not support slavery, he would have given a verse like this. No one should own another human being as property. For my father does not like to be treated as property, I also do not like to be treated as property. For that reason, none of you should have slaves as your own property. You will never find verses in the Bible like that because I created those verses from scratch. The true God would have forbidden slavery altogether. No excuses, Jesus Christ supports slavery, the Bible supports slavery and to continue this lie say that the slavery was not the same slavery in the South is a complete total lie. End of story, there is no context where owning another human being as property is moral. I will continue to exposing the fraud Jesus Christ in the next video. I am going to destroy this notion that Jesus Christ died for people's sins next time. Until then I am Antichrist because Jesus Christ is immoral.